we want to evaluate the in-def integral or determine the antiderivative. And for this example, we'll be using an integration formula typically found in an integration table in the back of a calculus textbook. So the most challenging part about using integration tables is to recognize which formula to apply. I think at the back of our calculus textbook, this is formula 6a, and notice how looking at the integration formula in this form here, the integrand function is in the form of x divided by the quantity ax plus b, which does resemble our integrand function, except for the 6 here. So let's go ahead and factor that 6 out and write this as 6 times the integral of x divided by the quantity 7x plus 8 integrated with respect to x. Now we'll identify the values of a and b. Notice a would be 7 and b would be 8. So if we know a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 8, we can go ahead and apply our integration formula. So the antiderivative is going to be 6 times, then we have x divided by a, that would be x divided by 7 or x over 7. And then we have minus b over a squared, that would be 8 over 7 squared times natural log of the absolute value of the quantity ax plus b, which is our denominator of 7x plus 8. And of course we have plus a constant of integration. Let's go ahead and distribute the 6. So we have 6 sevenths x minus 6 times 8 is 48, 7 squared is 49. So I have 48 40 ninths times natural log absolute value of 7x plus 8 plus c. This would be our antiderivative, which means the derivative of this family of functions would be equal to the integrand function f of x equals 6x divided by the quantity 7x plus 8. I hope you found this helpful.